right, ladies and gentlemen, Hex here, back with another DNS video uh, to help improve your download and upload speed of your PS4. Now, I do have a few other videos uh, that are different methods on how you can increase your download and upload speed for your PS4. This will help with your connection speed with playing multiplayer games. This could help with your download speed, typically that's what people are looking for this for, is like if they're downloading an update patch for a game, downloading a game in general, these are some possible methods that you can use to fix. So this is another DNS that I actually got down in the comments below. Um, my first DNS video, I used Google's, which is the 8.8.8.8, .8 and then the 8.8.4.4. Um, this one is going to be the open DNS. So the open DNS, um, instead of having it confined to one server, it sort of puts it on a general server, which is open. Um, so it can have a lot of traffic on it, but it's much larger. So there's a lot more room in it for which you can actually use. That sort of makes sense. So what we're going to do, same as before, we're going to set up an internet connection. We're going to use the Wi-Fi. Uh, first, let's just do a baseline. Connect to mine. So we want to do this baseline first. So we're just going to do it easy, which makes the DNS normal, the zeros around the board, and MTU around the board straight at 1500. All right, so let's test the internet. Let's see what it gives us. Um, there we go. Got the IP, NAT type 2. Download. It's tracking. So 20 down, 29 up. Um, I don't have anything really pulling from my uh, my Wi-Fi currently, especially on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, which is what the PS4 runs off of. Pretty much every th single other device I have runs off of the 5. Um, so that's actually really good. 20 and 3. Not bad. So let's go back into this. We are going to do custom. That's how you always change your settings is custom. Go back into your Wi-Fi. And now we're going to be changing the DNS. So IP address is going to be the same. Uh, DHCP, do not specify. DNS, this is what we're going to change. Primary, you see it's zeros around the board. We're going to change that now. So what we're going to change it to is sort of rather long. Uh, to 208.67.222.222. For the primary, so 208, 67, 222, 222. Secondary is very similar. It is the same. 208.67.220.220. All right, so pretty similar. All you're changing is those last two numbers for the last set of the uh, the digits. So 208, 67, 222. 222, 222, and then 220, 220. All right, so we'll do next. MTU, you can always change this too. Um, I do have a video on that if you check, want to check it out and see if it increases for you, but we're just doing DNS for now. Uh, proxy server, do not use. Let's test it again. I'm going to bet money this is probably going to lower my connection speed, but you never know. It really does depend on your network, um, your environment, what channel you're Wi-Fi is running on, right. and look at that, it actually improved it, 24 and 2. So upload went down a little bit, but really the big guy is that download that everyone cares so much about. So really, that's not bad at all. I mean, it bumped it up. Not bad. Um, so yeah, that was a comment down below that I got to try that, the open DNS, which it appears here that it actually works quite well. Uh, sorry for about my pen dropping there, but yeah, so if you guys do, if this does help you, leave it down below, let other people know that it helps. If it doesn't work, leave that down below too, because some other people might be able to have a solution that will help, and yeah, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and yeah, hope you guys have a great day.